Here's a video of a tiny worm called C. elegans that's crawling across a blade of jello. It's crawling towards the puddle, and when it enters into the puddle, it's going to start swimming. And then it'll continue swimming over the slippery jello for over an hour. Now, the interesting thing here is that our lab has recently discovered that the worm's form of motion on crawling on land and swimming in water are distinct kind of like how people have distinct forms of walking and running gates. And eventually the water soaks into the agar like a sponge. And after that happens, this normal worm has no problem uh, switching to crawl and crawls merrily on its way. Here's a video of a worm that has Parkinson's disease. We've engineered it so that its dopamine neurons die. You can see that it has no problem crawling across the jello plate, and also it swims just fine. Here, the Parkinsonian worm just came right out of a puddle, and it, as you can see, it's not crawling. It's just kind of stuck in one place. And it really resembles the problems with people with Parkinson's disease because they have difficulty switching between different forms of motion. These results show that dopamine first evolved over one billion years ago to be used to switch between different motor patterns, just as it is in humans. And because of this amazing degree of conservation, we can use the simple animal to screen for drugs that might help people with Parkinson's disease move again.